As you can see, um, we got ice growing at the back of the evaporators. Same thing on this one. Two evaporators iced up. All right, so we up at our controller. Let's look for our circuit. We're looking for circuit 20. Meat walk-in cooler, as you can see right here. All right, so we are in defrost. Check our setup. Uh, we're set up for electric heat. Uh, 35 minute duration, 15 minute minimum, uh, one minute defrost delay with a five minute drip. Uh, set the terminator on cage temp of 65 degrees. Um, let's just go and check our heaters and see. All right, so here's our rack right here, rack five, R4498. Here's our output boards right here. It's a multi-flex. Basically, we send voltage right in through the top and then it goes out to the heater. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, if you look a little bit close right there, that wire is charred. I found some um, connectors on my truck and I was able to get a little bit more slack out of this wire and to make it up to the contactor. And uh, we'll turn this on, put this through a defrost so we can uh, get this heaters fired up, defrost those coils. All right, so we're over at our cooler, meat cooler circuit 20, as you can see. Uh, our case just went through defrost. It's nine o'clock, it's just scheduled to go through on its own. So I'm gonna head over to the contactor and uh, we're gonna see if it's pulled in. Also gonna check our amps. All right, so we're back over here at our contactor. As you can see, our contact is pulled in and we are drawing 40 amps. So our heaters are now working in our case. Uh, I'm gonna just let this thing go through and defrost. Uh, the heater wire charred up here at the contactor. Uh, poor connection. All right, so I just walk in the walk-in. I can tell that the heaters are on. I can hear water dripping. Um, also, I can smell the heater elements but what I'm still going to do is I'm going to open up each evaporator and uh, I want to spec all the elements and uh, check for amps. Alright so I'm behind the evaporator I'm checking the data plate um, as you can see um, 4500 watts element heaters uh, 19 amps we were drawing 40 amps up at the contactor that's because we have two of these evaporators uh, 20 plus 20 is 40, so that's why we were reading 40 amps up there. That was our overall heater amp. So that's why I told you it's always good to come down here to the evaporator. Also, to check your your elements and, um, you know, just check the amps, make sure everything is working down here. Check. As you can see, we've got a couple elements right here in the back. Uh, clear up, clear up. There you go. So uh, our heater's working. Just got to get this ice all awesome. deep for us. Checking my heater animates for the evaporator. Basically, I'm just going through checking every heater, make sure that they're reading amps. Uh, just because they're reading amps doesn't mean that they're working. Uh, sometimes they could be under amp. I'm over here at my next evaporator and i um, going to check the heater elements here too. 1.92. Like I say, you just want to check every heater element. Basically, pretty much to see what you get. So we got about six amps here. All right, so I just took my fan guard and my fan blades off. And as you can see, there's ice in both of these evaporators. So I'm gonna get the water hose and um, de-ice these coils very, very slow. Try not to get any water all over the place, but um, we kind of covered up the product. All right, so I got my water hose and uh, Basically, I gotta go through each evaporator section and uh, melt all the ice off both of these coils. Um, it's like watching grass grow, man. It's gonna take me some time. All right, so got a little bit more ice to go in this evaporator. As you can see, just remove all the ice off those. Gotta head over to that one next. All right, so I just took out the end cover over here at the end of the evaporator. And look how much ice is over here. So it's always good to take off both end covers like I did over there exposing electric. This one here exposing the valve. Um, so let's just go ahead and get this defrost. Also. All right, so I just got all the ice off this one evaporator. One down, one more to go. 
All right, so I'm almost done with this one. It's the last evaporator. I already did each section. Also did the evaporator down there. All right, so finally got all my fan blades back together, fan guards, everything, end panels, everything nice and tight. Um, I got my ball valves closed. I'm gonna open up the liquid line ball valves, plug in these fans and uh, monitor the pull down. All right, so all of our fans came back on after the defrosting, um, the icing with the water. I didn't get any water in the fan, so all of them are working. Uh, let's just go ahead and pull this down. Ugh. But yeah, all fans back running. All right, so we back up at our controller. And as you can see, uh, we're at 31 degrees. Our set point is 30. So we are down the temp. I'm gonna head to the supply house and um, pick up that contact there and I'm gonna replace it and um, we're gonna go from there.